So again, we can we can test uh, De Broglie's hypothesis by uh, assuming um, by invoking the Bragg sort of formalism for scattering of waves off crystals, and then if we get an answer which um, agrees with the measurements of Davis and Germer, then we can we can confirm that the De Broglie's hypothesis was indeed true. That is that electrons at least electrons can be considered to have wave-like properties, okay? And so what the Bragg formalism does is that you assume that um, you, 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 you think about um, a crystal, um, and in this particular case a nickel crystal, and the atoms within a nickel crystal form a well-defined lattice, okay? So they have, I'm just showing sort of a two-dimensional um, cut of a, and just very schematically, of a of a crystal so that atoms are in very particular locations with respect to each other and they form a particular lattice. These the lattice can have actually a number of different symmetries. Um, again, just for simplicity here, um, what matters is just that we can look we, we can uh, explain everything by looking at it like this. Okay, and the dis the distance in this you know in this uh, picture the simplified picture between atoms and the lattice is is um, or at least on average is um, uh, is uh, we call that d. Okay, so if we have a wave coming in, like a plane wave, which means that it um, um, it, ex it that the wave fronts are coming in like this. Okay, so I'm sort of drawing the peaks and the troughs of of the wave. So uh, the wave is coming in. Then we can get scattering. We imagine that we can get s basically reflection, specular reflection. Uh, off uh, planes, okay, which are uh, which correspond to um, different uh, uh, layers in the crystal, as I've drawn here, and we call these Bragg planes, okay. And so, um, if a part of a wave reflects off this top Bragg plane, and then another part of the wave reflects off the bottom, the, the next layer, the bra next Bragg plane down then those two waves will have traveled, they started off sort of a plane wave, but um, the reflections will have, uh, the, the, the one that reflected off this, the second plane will have traveled a greater distance, okay, by an amount 2d sine theta where, where, where I've shown this, this um, distance here is d sine theta, okay. And so if those two it, 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 for particular angles, if 2d sine theta is um, is proportional to a wavelength, or yeah, is proportional to a wavelength, um, an integral multiple of a of the wavelength of the wave, then you'll get constructive interference in this direction, okay, and you would expect to see um, higher intensity of whatever wave you're looking at over here in this direction compared to other directions. Now I should point out that um, there are other Bragg planes that can exist in any crystal. Okay, so for example, you could have Bragg planes which go along this direction. Okay, you could have Bragg planes which go along this direction. Okay, so you can have many different series of Bragg planes, um, but for simplicity, we're just considering the one, um, and um, uh, that that allows us to sort of analyze everything that we need. Okay, so in this kind of picture, each again, each atom can be considered sort of a diffraction site. Okay, which is going to scatter the incoming um, radiation, the incoming waves, as sort of um, uh, spherical waves, kind of like a like the slit did in the in the double slit experiment in the previous lecture. Okay, so it's, and in particular directions, uh, you're going to well, you're going to get interference between the different um, spherical waves scattered from the different points, and so in particular directions, as I mentioned, you're going to get, um, you, you can have um, constructive interference that would cause the intensity of that wave to be larger. Okay, so the, the um, there's a particular, um, as, as I said before, the condition for constructive interference is given by, is given by 2d sine theta is equal to some integer multiple of, of the wavelength, and in this case, that'll give you constructive interference.